Hello and welcome to the Daily Mill for Wednesday the 27th of April 2022. Before we get into the Mill news, I wanted to do a bit of housekeeping. I want to tell you that if you're watching this video, you are probably most likely watching it on YouTube. But I also upload, upload to BitChute. And I wanted to let you know if you do watch it on BitChute, BitChute seems to have um, a bit of an update and they now give notifications for when comments are made under the posts so if you watch a video and make a comment i will get a notification so i can see it and i can respond um this is a new thing before uh in, in i never got notified and uh i would literally every now and then i would go for, click on each uh, video and then scroll down to see if there were any comments and have to do, do it that way so now if you make a comment under the video on BitChute, I will get a notification and I will respond to it. So, I just wanted to let you know if you are watching on BitChute about that. Now, we're going to move on to the middle news and the situation at hand. Um, chase for the playoffs is uh, fading, fading fast. I told you um, the results yesterday and I want to tell you the result now. Um, Middlesbrough beat Cardiff 2-0 and that's not good for us <clears throat> because um, what that does is it leaves the table like this we are now dropped down to ninth without playing we've dropped down two places with Blackburn Rovers winning and Middlesbrough winning um, on Monday and today so, um, these two teams, Middlesbrough and Blackburn, are in a slightly better position than us. Even their goal difference is better um, by some margins, um, by four and five goals. And if Sheffield United do slip up, though, they will be the first in line to capitalise on that. Um, but again, so letting you know um obviously this is a state of play as we go now into the weekend games if Sheffield united beat qpr on friday night it's basically all over for us anyway um we could get level on points with Sheffield united if they lose their last game i believe if we win both of our games if we beat peterborough and then we beat bournemouth and Sheffield united uh win against QPR but then they lose the next game we could still mathematically get up to them because uh, we could both get 72 points but obviously there's a six, already a 6 goal difference so it's going to be one of those ones where on the final day it's like oh if this team loses by 8 goals and then we win by 7 goals we can go up it's that kind of thing you know so it's it's possible but it's highly improbable so you really need Sheffield United, as, as I've said in previous posts, to drop four points. We need them to get to 71, and that's it. If they get to 72, yeah, it's uh, kind of over for us already. Um, but we can only do what we can do, and so that starts um, this weekend now. So you've got Sheffield United playing QPR on a Friday, so we should know by then... Uh, how the lay of the land lies and then you have Blackburn Rovers at home to AFC Bournemouth who are fighting for their lives for, for second place with Nottingham Forest um, so they were 3-0 down against Swansea yesterday and uh, they came back to 3-3 so they got a bit of fight and got a bit of spirit and you'd imagine they could go to Blackburn Rovers and, and slaughter them maybe, hopefully maybe by a big score so we want Bournemouth to win and win bigly because if we go back to the table and look so Blackburn Rovers so that's a five five uh, goal difference in goal difference between Blackburn and Millwall so if they could probably lose 3-0 or 4-1 to Bournemouth that would really help us out especially especially if we beat do beat Peterborough by let's be realistic and say two goals maybe 2-0 two, two or 3-1 um, 
So that, I'm not expecting us to. Well, we did beat Barnsley four one. So, but if we get a plus two, we go up to eight. If they lose, if they lose three nil, they go down to. <clears throat> They go down to eight as well. So, Bournemouth beating Blackburn, yes please. By a lot of goals, yes please. So, also we have Middlesbrough at home to Stoke. So, all of the, all of the teams, uh, Mill, Middlesbrough, Blackburn, have got home games. Only Sheffield United are away. Hopefully, QPR can uh, get their act together and sort themselves out. And actually beat Sheffield United. Um but Mills are home to Stoke C. Um Stoke C I can see them grinding that one down. Middlesbrough having struggles scoring, so if Stoke play compact and um tie at the back, you could see maybe a draw there, maybe a one one, nil nil even. Um so yeah, it's not all hope is lost, but um uh, we are looking at other results now, especially that one on Friday. So there you go. And now we're going to move on to some Millwall news now. The Sheffield United manager uh, has been uh, piping up, not about the playoff race, uh, about something else. So Sheffield United spell out key requirement if Millwall wants to sign a lone attacker. Paul Hecking Bottom has warned Millwall that they will have to make a suitable offer if they want to sign Ola Burke on a permanent deal this summer. The 24-year-old has scored two goals since signing for the Lions, including the first equaliser against Birmingham City on Saturday afternoon. Heckingbottom told the Sheffield Star, unless there's an offer or an option that benefits us and Oliver Burke, it also has to benefit us. Then he is our player and he will be coming back to us. That's the situation as everyone knows and would expect. Getting clarity and working on the budget and the finance, that's something we want. We want that clarity and it's something we'll be getting, we'll hopefully be getting soon. Then we can take good decisions about what we can do going forward. Um, yeah, so have we made um, inquiries about signing on permanently? Don't know. Um, he, he's all right. He, he, when he's played, he, he seems to be all right. Um, he's probably a, 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 an upgrade on Conor Mahoney, who we're releasing in the summer. Um, I'm sure he's going to cost a lot more than that. And what do you want to come to us? I don't know. Um, but here's the thing. So if we do, if we don't make the playoffs and Sheffield United do make the playoffs, uh, let's say they uh, get promoted by the playoffs, they're probably going to be um, money bags. And they're not really going to, are they going to be that bothered about, they're obviously going to, they need to let players go before they can let players in. Uh, the Premier League operate this 25 man squad system, I think. So, and he's over twenty. He's over the age of twenty three, so he can't be an under twenty three or whatever it is. Um. So, maybe they will just jetson him if they get promoted. So, you see, overall, so if we don't make the playoffs, let's hope Sheffield United do. Then we might be able to get Oliver Burke if he wants to come for us, or I don't know. But yeah. So I don't know if we, we've been making inquiries or what, but um, or, or the journalist is just asking a question. So obviously, um, it it wasn't a loan. So sometimes you have a loan, but then they kind of it's a loan to a view to a permanent. So if he comes on loan, if every party, all parties agree, the player, uh, the club with the contract and the club that he's been loaned to, if they agree. There's usually a fee. It's already been pre-approved so it's like okay you go on loan this is the, the fee if you want to finalize it at the end of the loan but we don't seem to have done that it's just a loan for loan's sake so uh, to be honest i think it's probably a bit out of our price range so i don't think it'll be signing but whatever um let's move on now to this an injury update um Ahead of the Peterborough game, uh, a bit early, but uh, this is from news at den .uk. A mill injury update ahead of Peterborough United, plus lines make plea to supporters. Yes, yes. J 
Jed Wallace hasn't been fully ruled out in Mill's last home game of the season against Peter United on Saturday, but he still hadn't trained by Tuesday afternoon. Uh, Wallace, 28, has missed the Lions' last two games after picking up a groin injury in a 1-1 draw against Preston North End. Mill are already without centre-back Daniel Ballard and left wing-back Scott Malone. Attacker Nana Boateng, who made his senior debut in the FA Cup against Crystal Palace in January, returned from an ankle injury to play 64 minutes in the under-23s. 1-1 draw at Sheffield United on Tuesday night. Yeah, he played He played quite well. Um, the game against the Porsche is close to a set out as fans hope to see their side take the playoff challenge to the last day against AFC Bournemouth. We all need to win their last two games and hope Sheffield United, Blackburn Rovers and Middles will slip up. Uh, Mill made the rare move to open the North Stand, usually reserved only for her away fans, to their supporters for the last home game of the regular league season. Club have urged Lions fans not to invade the pitch. Stay off the pitch. After the final whistle to help keep its condition for a potential playoff semi-final and to allow the home players a lap of honour. Do not get on the pitch. Get off the pitch. Get off the pitch. You've ruined us. Uh, you've ruined the players' day. Don't go on the pitch. Um. <clears throat> yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. Seems it's 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 good to see. It's uh. Even though. It's. Have we actually been into the playoff positions yet this season? I don't think we have. But even though we have faint hope of getting into the playoffs, it's good to see that the fans are so hyped up, so engaged. They want to get. They're they're going to the games now. They're happy to go. Um, they're interested. Uh, uh, my my video views have gone up. Everyone seems to be, all the Mill fans seem to be um, hyped up about this. It's it's really good to see. Um, and players, we've we've got a few good players now. Bradshaw scoring goals. Oliver Burke, Tyler Burry. You know, um, we do seem to have a few attacking options now. Danny McNamara is getting involved up front. He, he had an assist, he said he got the two goals the other week. Um, things do do appear to be looking up, but then uh, you think next season we got two steps forward, uh, three steps back, because half of the team are going back. Um, Jed Wallace seems to be uh, looking to leave. Um, we have the loan players going back to their clubs, because we probably can't afford to sign them permanently. And clubs don't want to sign, uh, loan them out again if they're in the last year they are contracts because you're effectively paying a loan fee to sign a player on permanent. Well, no, it's not technically, but and they would rather just lo um, sell them to another club. Now, we could probably get them on loan till January. That might be a possibility, and then now they'll just try and look, the clubs will try and offload them in January at a cut price. And we'll probably be first in line, but we won't be guaranteed. But yeah, it's good to see that the Mill fans are hyped up for this. Um, sell out home crowd. Uh, home fans in the North Stand. Which uh, we haven't had that for like a regular end of season game. Uh, the last game of the season since I think it was the um, Oldham game where we won the league. 2001. So, it's good to see, it's good to see, even though we're not, we're not actually there, we're there or thereabouts, but we're not there, we're not up that next level now. Um, hopefully we can get there next season, um, or you do, you do worry, this is the pinnacle, after this we start to fade away. But we will see, um, I'm sure some players will be signed in the summer. And if you keep watching this this channel during the summer, I'll let you know uh, who we get linked with. I've already got the spreadsheet up with the three players we were linked with, with the Ross Sykes. Um, I forgot the other one. Oh, Daniel Udo. And there was one more. Um, I can't remember. And I think uh, McCurdy. Is it McCurdy from Swindon Town? So we are being linked with players. 
it's uh we may be signing some some young talent in the summer so keep your eyes peeled and on that note thank you for watching and goodbye